Hi everyone, Julie here and this is just a short video to show the finished underwater quilt or the first underwater quilt. Um, you may, some of you may already know that it's finished from the short video or on my Facebook page but finally finished. It obviously doesn't fit on the table but I'll go through some figures first and then we can do a proper look at it. So it measures 2.54 meters in both directions. So that's two and a half meters and I don't, I don't know how big that is in feet and I haven't got my tape measure here, but I know it's longer than six feet and I know it's bigger than, it's probably king size bed size. Not that it'll be going on a bed. Um, it's 14,950 hexagons, half inch hexagons. I keep a tally as I take the hexagons out and I'm at something like 18,000, 18, no, 14,860 or something like that. So there's still 90 hexagons unaccounted for, which means that they are in still in place i will probably find 10 or 20 of them when doing the basting and the rest i'll actually find when it's being quilted which is um not a point you can actually get them out unless they're right near the edge because with everything all pinned together you can't get in to get them i'm just hoping that when the time comes for this to be got ready for quilting that my friend will find them she'll start at one end and work her way through because we're going to have to roll it up as we go because these two trestle tables are and the dining table that's behind it will be what it'll actually be all put together on and same with any other quilts that's how they'll be done this is too big to do my friend's lounge room which my last quilt was done in and also i don't have that many trestle tables anymore and like I said this is bigger the last quilt that we did which I think is my very first video well the first video that I made not necessarily the first that I uploaded which was how to prepare a quilt for quilting and that was only 10,000 hexagons this is like I said 15,000 so a big difference takes a lot more space it's even bigger than the one that went on my bed the big turquoise one so but we'll just see so what I'll do now is try and show you the whole thing obviously all the way up most of the edge is the cliff turquoise border and then we'll come along we've just got fish 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 seaweed I think that's quite a nice lot of seaweed down there and the turquoise edge the Background is sand, and then we come up to the water. We've still got the cliff on the side. We've got a shark. Um, I should have something to point with. Fish, fish, that's actually a turtle. Fish, seahorse. Some things are more visible than others. I mean, I can see them all, but some things are easier for, you know, that's a turtle and a stingray that's a stingray fish fish seahorse fish fish that's my octopus i think that's rather cute and it's eight legs i should have done more i should have done another octopus somewhere but it was just so much of a palaver to do um fish seahorse turtle fish fish shark my sharks I'm not happy with because the fins, the tail fins, or well, the tails seem to go up at an angle. That one more so than the others. Fish, 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 seahorse. Fish, fish. Um, that's actually a couple of dolphins. I'll see if I can move this down a bit. That is actually two little dolphins. Seaweed, 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 
fish and another shark with its tail up at an angle. And we're back at that turtle which we started this look through on. Over to the cliff. I'm going to put that down for a minute. That's the big dolphin. I'm trying to bring this down so it can all be visible. Which I think it might be now. If I can move this off to the side. This is not going to get quilted for a long time. I don't think. I think my fingers need a break. My eyes definitely need a break. And I've just had... Although I had January and February off from from sewing, I've just spent since then getting this finished. It's been a lot of work to get this finished. So I am going to have the break over winter and this room is freezing. You know, I was putting this together yesterday, sewing you know, between rows eight and seven. And yeah, you know, my fingers were frozen even though I had a heater on. So I'll be doing other things over the winter. I'll do a video probably next week on what I plan on doing, what's next. But for now, the main thing is to show you the rest of this, which you've all seen the dolphin, the big dolphin, and the smaller dolphins are under it. They're not so clear. The, um, that's the top of the cliffs, seagulls, seagulls, some clouds, the lighthouse, which was the very first thing I made to do with this quilt. I made the lighthouse and then basically decided to do the quilt around it. More seagulls and the top corner. And the original shark, this time the tail's pointed downwards. I, um, I'm happy with this, obviously. It's taken a lot of work, a lot of effort and a lot of money. It, um, it is supposed to be the first of three. Number two has been started, but it will get done. It'll get done at some point. I need more fabric, obviously. I was going to do this colour blue for the sea, which is the bumbleberries blue. Is I was going to do this, different shades of it, for the th two other quilts but this has been an absolute pig of a fabric I'm not I'm not using it again I've got probably 300 covered hexagons with it that'll probably sit there forever yeah and when I die and people clear out all my junk they'll still be there is um it I can't get it tight enough on the on the papers and my papers aren't paper Hexagons, they're actually card or playing cards. You know, they're not just paper or even, you know, art paper. And I just can't get it tight enough and they're just so loose and they're so hard to work with. So I've actually got another blue, I think I've got half a metre of it, that I think, I haven't cut it, but I think I might get more of that when I go to do the second one of these and do it out of, that fabric because that's more of a I know they're all cotton I just realized that I thought that was an open seam um, they're all cotton but just some cottons are thicker and this bumbleberries is it's lovely to sew together when it's on the hexagons properly because you've got a fair amount of thickness to get your needle through but it's not worth the effort not when you can't pull them nice and tight and you've got you know, edges undoing and you know, your basting stitches undoing. It really has been a bit of a pig. So I'll go for something totally different on the next one for the sea. And um, you know, leave it at that. But I mean, I'm pleased that it finally worked out. That my battles with this fabric you know, made it worthwhile. And... Um, this is basically it. This is the first underwater quilt, the first of possibly three. I said the second one you've seen updates on before. Fish, turtle, stingray, turtle, fish, lots of fish, seahorse, my shark, 
seaweed, 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 fish, fish. I mean, it really is an achievement. I mean, I'm pleased with it, but I'm ready to have a break. And so next week, that's it for this week's one. Next week will be a what I'm doing next video. And this one will get put aside until warmer weather when it will get quilted at some point. And in case you're wondering, the edges are all still up and down, up and down, or pointy bits on one side, up and down on the other from the hexagons. I don't worry about those bits until after it's quilted. And once a quilt is quilted, then those edges are cut straight, which I have shown before and I will show again the next time I quilt a quilt, be it this one or another one. So yes, they do have their raggedy edges for now. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.